Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Haku Firestone here today. And for today's video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you guys my entire Nintendo Switch library. For the Nintendo Switch, I own a number of games, both physically and digitally. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and share them all with you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the Nintendo Switch is pretty much one of my favorite consoles of all time. Um, it's a console I play a whole lot. And I think the games that I have here reflect that. So I do have all of my physical games here. And if there is something that's not here, that's a must own of the Switch, it's probably because I have it digitally. I'm just gonna go ahead and run through them and just kind of briefly give my thoughts on some of these games. All right, so first up, what we have here is Super Mario Odyssey. This was one of the early games that I got with my Switch. I think a lot of people can say this is one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch in terms of 3D platformers and also in terms of Mario games. Overall, a great game on the Switch. I think it's one of the essentials. I think it's one of the better Mario games in recent times. So, Super Mario Odyssey, great game. Next, what we have here is Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. Most third-party games in general, I prefer to play on the Switch. I choose the Switch because I can just take it with me. It's portable. It's very easy to play. Next, what we have here is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I bought this for myself initially. The funny thing is my sister really likes this game, so she's played it a lot more than I have. We usually just play together on two-player co-op. Great game. Next we have here is a game that I haven't played. This is South Park The Fractured But Whole. I'm actually still playing through the first game. I have that one digitally downloaded. So South Park The Fractured But Whole. Next what we have here is one of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I've gone on time and time again on many different videos on my channel talking about how much I like this game. I play it very frequently. Again, I can't recommend it enough. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We have The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I initially bought this on the PlayStation 3 uh, years ago. Just couldn't get into it for whatever reason. So here it is again on the Switch. So I haven't given it too much time, but maybe that'll change in the future. Next what we have here is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. I've actually recently just started playing this, so I'm only about five or so hours into the story. So far, I'm really liking what I'm playing. I'm really looking forward to playing more, and I hope more Tales games come to the Switch in the future. Next here is another favorite of mine. This is Fire Emblem Warriors. So this is pretty much a Warriors game with a Fire Emblem theme. It has its own unique story. If you're a big fan of Fire Emblem, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Next what we have here is another favorite game of mine. This one is Splatoon 2. This is kind of like Nintendo's take on a shooter. It's kind of like paintball, right? You use ink and you kind of like splat the other team members. This is a pretty big game here in the United States for Nintendo Switch players. And I know it's a huge hit over in Japan and overseas as well. One of my favorite games, I play this one very frequently, Splatoon 2. Next what we have here is Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. This is pretty much like a side game to like some of the No More Heroes games a few years after the second game. Personally, this one's okay. It doesn't play like a traditional No More Heroes game. And if you're a fan of the series, I recommend this one just to kind of catch you up to speed and see what's been going on and the story up until then. Next what we have here is Puyo Puyo Tetris. So this game is one of my favorites as well if I just want to play something casual, not something super intense. And this is actually one of the games I've wished I, in retrospect, have gotten digitally only because I can have it with me at all times and have to carry the cartridge. All right, so next what I have here is Sonic Mania Plus. This is kind of like a, uh, a DX version of Sonic Mania. Great game as well, Sonic Mania Plus. All right, so next up, what I have here is Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the Collector's Edition. It has a great story, and this is one of those, again, 100-hour RPG games where it's really gonna take a lot of your time to play this one. And maybe we'll get a Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Next up, this is a game that I really enjoyed. This is Starlink Battle for Atlas. Now, I don't know where to begin on this game because this is a game that I was really hoping would do well and I was really looking forward to at launch. Um, this is the launch edition that I bought day one when this game first came out. Now, long story short, I don't think this game did super well in terms of numbers. And that was super heartbreaking for me because I really wanted this game to do well. In retrospect, I think this game would have done a lot better if it was a exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. And again, moving forward, hopefully if we get a sequel it's probably unlikely, but if we do get a sequel, hopefully we can get it as a Nintendo exclusive. All right, next up, what I have here is Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. So Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, this, like a few other games, was a port from the Wii U. The Switch version offers is the same game with new elements. You get the new character, Funky Kong. He's kind of like the game's easy mode. He has a few extra abilities. This is an excellent game to own on the Switch. 
Next up, what we have here is L.A. Noire. Now this is a game I initially missed out on on the PS3 and Xbox 360 and every other platform. This one is set in the 1940s Los Angeles and it's a suspenseful or like crime thriller game. So again, L.A. Noire, excellent game. This is a game I'd recommend as well on the Nintendo Switch. Next up what I have here is actually something that I haven't gotten a chance to play yet. SNK Heroines. So this is basically an SNK fighting game where you only use female characters from the SNK universe. I'm not sure how well this game actually sold on the Switch. I think it's definitely kind of niche. I think it will probably have performed better in Japan. Just because the whole like waifu thing, I, me personally I'm not really into that. But either way I'm still looking forward to trying this one out and see what it's about. Next what we have here is Sushi Striker Way of the Sushido. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Next what we have here is another game that I haven't tried yet. This is The World Ends With You. So this one, again, I hear a lot of great things about it. I do think it may play a little differently on the Nintendo Switch. I know this was made from the ground up on the Nintendo DS, and so I think missing that dual screen feature may have a bit of a difference in perhaps how I play it. But I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Next what we have here, SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I literally have no idea what games are on here, but um, looking forward to trying it again. Next what we have here is um, one of my older games on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Pokémon Fighters DX. This is an enhanced port of a Wii U game. Great game, especially if you're a Pokémon fan or if you're really into fighting games. Give Pokémon Tournament DX a shot. Next what I have here is Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2. If you're looking to get an awesome Dragon Ball game on the Switch, this is a great game to have. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Alright, next, this one is Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. And if you're a big Zelda fan or if you're a casual Zelda fan, I think this one will speak out to you a little more because they have a more diverse pool of characters. And this is also a game, like many others, I recommend on the Nintendo Switch. Now, for one of my favorite games on the Switch and the Wii U, this is Bayonetta 1 and 2. And if you buy this game new, it comes with a code for the original Bayonetta game. This is one of my highly recommended games if you like games like Devil May Cry, Near Automata. Bayonetta 2 is one of my absolute favorites. I highly recommend Bayonetta. Wrapping things up, what I have here is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. So this is pretty much a remake of the first two Crash Bandicoot racing games. This one sort of followed the success of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I remember wishing that we got a remake of this game for years and we have it here now. I'd highly recommend this game. And last but not least, Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Now this game I've had for about a week or so. I bought it on launch night. This is a game I feel like I could have gone without. Now with Super Mario Maker, I actually missed out on the first game on the Wii U. So when this game was announced, I definitely was uh, definitely thought to myself I was gonna jump in early and see what all the craze is about. I haven't really built any stages. I more so just like playing the other stages that were made. I'm gonna be fair and give it a shot, just give it a fair chance, you know, put, maybe put an additional maybe three to five hours in and make my decision from there. But I think I probably could have passed on this one and uh, we'll see how things are looking in the future for this one. Okay guys, so that's pretty much all the games that I own on my Nintendo Switch. And if you like this video, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a like. Leave me a comment below, let me know what some of your favorite games are on the Nintendo Switch. What are some of the essentials and what you recommend that I play. All of my information will be in the description below. And I want to say thank you guys for watching, new video will be coming soon. And this is Haku Firestone, and I will see you guys next video.